This is your life. This is your life. Right now is your life. Life is about right now. Live and live are spelled the same way. In order to live, you must be live. Right now. The past does not equal the future unless you give the past permission. You are the sum total of your dominant thoughts and decisions. Yes, you are. So, a little birdie told me that you have an out of control sexual behavior of some sort. Pornography, masturbation, fanatization, or some kind of unhealthy sexual behavior. A little birdie also told me that it's starting to get the best of you. And it's not okay anymore. That's good news. It not being okay. Because that's the beginning of how you can change it. We're going to have an adult grown folk conversation about behaviors, attitudes, decisions, choices, actions to become healthy. Becoming healthy is a journey. It's not a one and none. It's not like the sexual addiction BS that you do where you just get all excited, you do this and then you blast this one. Now, it requires a lot more work than that. It's strategic, it's taking steps, it's reflection, it's looking inside, it's being introspective. It's deciding that you want a better life for yourself. That's what this is about. My name's Joseph F. Price. They call me Joey P. I'm gonna be your host in this journey. I'm gonna be your partner in this dance. We're gonna do this together. We're going to become better people together. You are going to have sexual mastery. You are going to have mastery in your life. Yes, you are. You're going to be a better person. You're going to be somebody that you can be proud of. You're going to be somebody that even your mama can be proud. But it's not going to come free. You're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to do some reflection. I'm going to give you some tools. I'm not going to do it all on my own. I'll bring some guests. They'll give you the good stuff. But here's what you got to do. Take this as a journey. A journey that you get better each and every day. A journey that we don't stop until we figure it out how to do it and we become invincible. Yeah. We can become invincible to our pornography at sexual behaviors and unhealthy other addictions. You just got to understand how it works. You got to understand how your mind is making you its bitch. I know you don't like that language, but you're the bitch of your mind. And so this work that we're going to do, it's about neutralizing that and you becoming the victor, you becoming the master, you becoming the man that you're supposed to be. That's what I'm talking about. So if that's something that interests you, if that's something that you want to do, then let's do that together. It ain't a one and done. It's a journey. So let's begin. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Good morning, folks. And good evening, folks. What? I don't even know what time it is. Round here, it's actually uh, 1713 or 513 in the afternoon. Eastern Standard Time in uh, Washington, D.C., as well as Orlando, Florida. Tampa, Florida as well. New York City. Los Angeles, it's currently 1413 or 213 in the afternoon. So anyway, 
um, you know, uh, hopefully a couple segments ago, I got you to buy into the concept that, you know, this recovery thing, it is a journey. And, you know, um, if I don't do anything more than to get you to embrace that it's a journey, get you to get enthusiastic about the journey, get you to have some hope about the journey, and get you to actually engage in the actual process of the journey. If I can just get you to do that, everything else will take care of itself. Because as long as you're actually engaged in the journey, doing something uh, constantly, then you will actually get to where it is that you're looking to get to, uh, which is actually to not be uh, out of control in your sexual behavior here or there and everywhere. And quite frankly, uh, most of the people that are listening to this are addicts, so therefore uh, we're just going to talk from that paradigm. So again, it's a journey. And for most of the people that I talk to, before they begin that journey part of this, they're doing something way different. And I think what it is is they're just using willpower and resisting, and then that's not working real well. Uh, they're on an addictive cycle and, you know, how it works, rinse and repeat and shame and, you know, counting some days and getting some streaks and, and this, the, you know, all these things that are not the journey. All these things that are just basically, you know, it's kind of like if you know the story of the Wizard of Oz and following the yellow brick road is the way that you get to where you go to. All of these things are everything that's avoiding the yellow brick road that's going to take you home. The yellow brick road is the road that's the journey to healing. It's the road that you've been avoiding. You know, it's like the old saying goes. The very road that you've been avoiding is the very road that's got everything that you always wanted on it. So that's what is really the process for a lot of people uh, that are um, actually drowning in an addiction. And so much of, you know, not drowning in the addiction and actually, you know, getting to that point of healthiness is a reversal of what it is that you're doing. I mean, like, if you really want to make it really, really, really extremely simple, it really comes down to reversing the process, reversing what you've done, reversing what you're doing. But it's not that simple for you because most of what you've done and most of what you're doing is unconscious. So our process and what it is that you're looking to do is to become more aware of what those things are and to adjust them and to uh, deal with them accordingly. So one of the first things that I think of when I think of this journey called uh, sex addiction, recovery, addiction, recovery, pornographic addiction, recovery. One of the first things that, that, that I think is that you've got to, look at things differently than the way that you've been looking at them. So again, like I said, it's a reversal. You think it's okay. You think this, you think that all the things that you think are probably the opposite of what reality is, but definitely the opposite of what a healthy reality is for you. Okay. So the, intentions of this session is not really to 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 do the whole journey in this session because again if I was to do the whole journey in this session then I'm totally contradicting what it is that I'm trying to impress upon you that it's a journey so in no segment do I ever intend to tell you everything I will always miss something I will always forget something I will never be able to do it all, and I don't think anybody else would be able to do it all. Maybe some people would be able to do it better, but that's not really important. I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of food. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of things that you can use. But again, it's about you using them, and it's about you getting more constantly, and it's about you taking this as a journey. And let me just you know, break it down real simple for you.
something that you can think about. So, you know, like I like to keep things like simple to one word. Look, there's no there. There's no there. And I'll say it one more time. There's no there. So like all this business about trying to get to some there, that's not what you're doing. If you're trying to get to some there, there's some there in your mind that you don't understand that you need to understand so that you can at least get to the there that you're not bound by whatever addiction it is that you find yourself compelled to today. Okay. There's no there. So just take the there out of the picture. This is a journey. And what it might be is a journey that you've been avoiding. See, this is a journey of getting the porn out of your life, A, and then getting your shit together, B. That's really what it is. So it's going to transform itself eventually from working on this porn to working on you being the better person that you can be. Because what happens is once you get the porn out of your life, again, I'm going to say it over and over again. At that point, that's when the whole gateway opens up. That's when the whole gateway for transformation opens up. That's when it really begins. That's when the journey, again, really begins. Because there's so much stuff that you don't see, that you don't know, that you don't want to hear. And so until you get the porn out of your life, there's no need in even going there. And even if somebody went there, you're not going to receive it anyway. So it's a journey. And so in this session, we'll talk about some of what the journey is. That's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about components. I'm not going to talk about how do you make these components part of you? How do you strengthen these components? How do you implement these components? That's not what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're just simply going to talk about components that come with the journey. All right, or components that would be part of the successful journey. And, and one of them, again, is it's the mindset. So there's, there's, there's no there that you're chasing after. If you're chasing after there, uh, you're chasing after the wrong thing. Now, here, here, here's, here's something I want to bring to your attention before I get serious here. Because this is indicative of what, people's recovery strategy is their recovery strategy is I'm going to resist something and I'm going to that's how I'm going to rid it out of my life okay it doesn't work but they think it works and they try it for a bunch of years and what my concern with as as somebody that's trying to help people become better is that if you are working a strategy over and over again that's guaranteed to fail and the inevitable happens that you're ultimately going to lose total hope. So the way that you recover and the way that you get rid of this, again, is you embrace the fact that it's a journey and do it the right way once. Now, the right way once doesn't mean that it's perfect. It means that you do it the right way once. Now, what you've been doing, if you don't have supremacy after working on yourself for 90 days, 30 days, if you if you don't have supremacy, it's obviously, it's obvious. You, you don't have a plan. You don't have a system. You're doing this hope and discipline and willpower and rinse and repeat. You're on the addictive cycle big time. Look it up in Google. That's what you're doing. So I got these guys, you know, in these forums, and I just read this stuff to just show how drowned these people are. And in their heart, they want to fix themselves or they wouldn't be here. So it's not about a heart issue. It's not about do they want to, but they just are so blind because they're not embracing a system. They're trying to figure it out, okay? And then they, they gather, you know, 
you become the five people you spend the most time with. So they gather amongst themselves and they don't know what they're talking about, but yet they want to articulate like they're experts. And they, they're dealing with the losing strategy. So, you know, if this is you, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you. Your strategy isn't working. If this is kind of you, again, I'm sorry to offend you. If this isn't you, that's probably good. But these guys are trying for streaks. They're trying for streaks. And one of the things about recovery, like I said, is like, you're trying for the wrong goal. Like you're seeking, you're seeking sobriety. What I'm trying to tell you is I, I don't want you to seek sobriety. I want you to seek not even having the desire for something because that's how, how you are. So it's not about you being clean. It's about you being so healed that you don't even want to participate in something like that. But you know, if your goal is sobriety, maybe you'll get sobriety. See, the goal that I'm trying to get you to is that you're healthy enough that you don't even want some foolishness that's, you know, foolishness like porn and, and, and grabbing yourself <laughs> and working yourself up into a foam. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> and doing that like three and four times in a day. And yeah, yeah, that, that's not what we're doing here. But in, in, in any event, I see some of these guys that, that, that don't embrace a journey. They're trying this streak mentality, rinse and repeat. And, you know, I guess you build up with a streak. But again, that, you, you get what it is that you set. Don't you get it? The mind creates what it is that you focus on most. You're the sum total of your dominant thoughts. So, like, if you, if you sell yourself short, if you ask for a quarter life will give you a quarter. If you ask for a million dollars, life might give you a half million. Might give you a million. But, you know, it gives you proportionate to what you ask for. So I got this guy, I'm looking at this, this post here and in a forum, and he says, I have officially made it seven days guys with an explanation point and two fire sign emojis dude seven days fire that's not fire bro I, i'm <laughs> okay seven years that's fire seven days and then this other dude writes, I've been failing for two complete years, highest streak, four days. You get what you're looking for. This one guy says he feels like his brain just attacked me, is what he said. Yeah, it did. You've been attacking it with porn and it attacked back. So anyway, again, You've got to engage yourself in a system. You've got to engage yourself with something that works. And you need to be around people that know what they're talking about, that have the sobriety, that can help you obtain the sobriety. I mean, like, talking amongst a bunch of people that are struggling with something is almost like being out in one of the oceans somewhere, not knowing how to swim with about 10 people who don't know how to swim and say, hey, yo, man, can you help me? That's not how you do it. So let's talk about how you do it. And um, you got to get it. First, first of all, you have to have a system. You know, I can talk to you about different systems. I can talk to you about my system. I can talk to you about other people's systems. But look, have a system, even if you create a system of your own, but I'm not so sure that you're able to create it because you haven't created a system on your own to solve the porn problem before. And this is such a unique situation, such a unique, um, it's different. So 
things that have worked before, they're not necessarily going to work to solve the porn problem. They're going to work to help you do the things that you need to do to solve the porn problem. So, yeah, I forgot it. Uh, you know, I like to jam a little bit, man. So I didn't even have no music in the background. So there, there's a little music for you in case you're just riding down the road, chilling. So, reason why um, I, I really emphasize with you about the fact that it's a journey is because it's a reversal journey. Again, you didn't get to where you are overnight. It didn't happen like that, right? It happened by progressively doing things day in and day out, day in and day out, causing yourself to, to not see things continuously so that you can do things. See, one of the things we like to do when we, when we do things that are wrong because we know they're wrong and most of us are wired with common sense. In order to do something wrong, because most of us are wired to do stuff right, we have to BS ourselves in order to do something wrong. Now, one way we BS ourselves is deliberately deluding ourselves. Another way we do that is by avoiding reality and the self-con. So those are the kind of things that you need to address. Now, when I talk about the journey, the reason why you're doing porn to the extent that, that, that you find that it's a problem, that you just can't wake up one day and say, I'm not going to do it. The reason why you may be like that or whatever story it is that you're telling yourself, the reason you're that way is because a bunch of things happen to get you to being that way. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> it didn't happen overnight. The first, there was a bunch of lies that you told yourself to give yourself permission to do it in the first place. Because more than likely you knew at some level before you got to where you are that something was wrong. So the only reason that you were able <laughs> to get to where you are is because you lied to yourself. That's, that's one of the things that happened. And you created a bunch of blind spots for yourself deliberately. So part of the journey is getting rid of the blind spots. I mean, that's like the major thing, like raising your awareness, you know? And, and again, as I said, it's not one addiction. It's 250 addictions. If you like a better number, 360 addictions. It's things that feed into that addiction. And when you address those, the addiction goes away. And until you address those, the addiction is never going to go away. And even if you are lucky enough to get rid of the addiction, then you'll probably have a problem somewhere else. And that's why I say let's, let's do it right once and let's embrace a whole journey that's gonna gonna do it right so again as i said it's constantly raising the awareness it's constantly filling the gaps it's understanding that it's steps you know one of the things that i want you to understand in, in, in the context of addiction recovery is that it's a three-phase process it's not just something you, you just do this is a three-phase process man that's why that oh going beyond four days the hell are you doing man Addiction recovery <laughs> is figuring out all of the different things that you need to do in terms of the behavior modification. Now, that's the body, if you will. Okay? But you got to heal. That's the heart. Hurt people hurt people. You hurt some people. You've been hurt by some people. That's why the addiction lived in the first place. You got to work on phase two, right? And then phase three is like, get right back to where you are supposed to be. Get on to purpose. Become the person that you were made, designed to be. Become the person that you were assigned to be. The person that God intended you to be. 
See, that's phase three. Now, all that four-day stuff, <laughs> where does that fit? It doesn't. <laughs> so, again, and it's endless. It's an endless journey of discovery. It's emotional mastery. You know, why do you do porn in the first place? It's, one reason is emotional regulation. Why do you do it in the first place? Well, trauma-induced, opportunity-induced, or perhaps it was trauma, opportunity, and trauma, opportunity, and what is that other one? Oh, attachment. Yeah, that's the actually that's the biggest one of them all. The attachment. How could I forget that? No, 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 no. Yeah, trauma, attachment, and boredom. You know, how, which one of those influence why you're doing those? You know, have you dealt with the, the trauma? Right? Do you know how to deal with the boredom? So those are the things that are part of the journey. You know, and, 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 and not being so much of a liar will be one of those 256 items that you need to deal with. Of course you lie. You lie by default by being a porn addict. You know, you, you have to. Somebody calls you on the phone uh, and you were doing porn. What are you going to tell them? You going to tell them you, you were doing porn? Of course not. So it just goes on and on and on, and you can figure it out. You're lying, okay? You lie to yourself. You tell yourself a whole bunch of lies. Now, here's what you got to do. You got to get some tools. What are the tools? What are the tools? Well, I think one of the first, one of your best buddies is probably going to be your journal. That's like. Man, that's going to be like your best buddy. Because you, you can like journal things. Like when you slip, when you have any kind of thoughts, when you have stuff that you deal with in life, you can write that down. When you have breakthroughs, when you learn things, when you almost do things, you write that stuff down. And it's the process of writing it down that actually strengthens it in, in your soul and in your memory. And not only that, you can go back to it. And your journey is actually going to be one of your best friends you need a system i talked about that earlier you need to to have a system a system a system a system we can talk about that later you need to have a system meetings you got to have support groups you got to have accountabilities like pornography is something that people do in secret and silent something they do by themselves so part of the reversal is, is connecting with people, making friends, you know, really connecting with people, not just, you know, filling up the space with a bunch of words that don't mean anything. You know, there's trainers, there's books, there's real educational videos, there's podcasts. You know, that's the kind of thing that helps you transform, you know, because you need a mindset transform and you didn't get the mindset that you have overnight so it's the things that you need to do to support that mindset and it's kind of like you're, you're it's kind of like you're stretching yourself it's like a piano if you ever had to tune a piano that hasn't been tuned for a while i don't know that much about pianos but i know this much about pianos if a piano hasn't been tuned in a long time you got to tune it and then you got to come back next week and tune it then you got to come back next week then you got to come back and then it becomes a month and then every six months and then once you know then you can do it like once a year so just like you you have to keep coming back to the good stuff to the good stuff to the good stuff to the good stuff so that you can mold an identity of being that clean healthy man See, what you're doing now and again as i said the whole recovery process is a reversal what you're doing now is you're reinforcing the identity that you have as being a porn addict. And so what you have to do is you have to begin to reverse that. Everything that you are going to do in this journey essentially is going to be a reversal. You need people in your life. 
That's why they have support groups. You, you really do need people that are in your life to help you in this support because you're going to have to have something so that you make the change. I mean, quite frankly, we'll talk about it in another session, but porn gives you a lot of things. That's like a whole session in and of itself. That's like a whole week's worth of work of actually sitting there and, and you know, we talk about all that, that bad stuff. But what is porn giving you? And actually identifying what those things are so that you can feel, figure out how you can give yourself those things other ways. See, here's the problem with any kind of addiction, my friend. It's a matter of an ill meeting of needs. You're trying to meet needs. This is what we do as human beings. We're geared to meet needs, our needs, okay? Each and every one of us has different needs. And so addiction is the process of meeting needs in an inelegant manner. When you identify the needs you're trying to meet and find a way that you can elegantly meet the need, you can dispense with the addiction. And you know what? If you're really good, you're going to find a better way to meet the needs. Ooh, isn't that, a, isn't that a wild concept? Yeah, it is actually possible. So, a couple of enemies that you got to fight. Real simple. And it's not this four day fire <laughs> it's you got to learn how to fight boredom stress and loneliness they call it and, and also like in addiction they call it halts hungry angry lonely sad uh tired uh, but boredom stress and loneliness boredom stress and loneliness i find are like those are those are the ones that you always have to be able to to deal with those because remember one of the things that you need to be as an individual, and this is the this is the real, this is the thing that will ultimately get you there. You need to first be bigger than your biggest craving, but then you need to do the inner work along the way. Once you develop the inner strength to be bigger than the biggest craving, that'll be big enough to get you by while you're doing the inner work and then you won't have any cravings because again like i said the goal is to not be not to be sober it's to be clean that we don't even have any desire for anything that's dirty or trash so again with the, without any further ado on that uh make the days count and don't count the days i mean and and also four days ain't fire bro <laughs> i'm sorry so part of the journey again is learning from mistakes it's okay to trip you know like my buddy uh jk amazing one of one of one of my heroes in the porn uh, recovery field progress over perfection every day get better get better get better get better get better you don't need to be perfect there's not really much perfect out here i don't mean to get spiritual but the only thing i know perfect is god right and even a diamond the thing that makes a diamond a diamond is the fact that it has a flaw so like that idea of perfect that's some bs that 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 that's there again to confuse you and to keep you from being the best person that you can be because again there's only one perfect so the fact that you're trying to be perfect you're trying to be god and when you try to get be god you know it, 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 I, I just know it don't work out all the way i mean you you might you might know something i don't know but i just i just find it don't work out so much so again learn from your mistakes it's okay there's no such thing as failure anyway because all you did was you created a result you succeeded and created a cluster and if you can create a cluster then you can create a paradise all you got to do is shift the thinking and that's what we're talking about the opposite thinking reversing and part of that reversing is changing your mindset changing your state changing your peer group changing your friends 
You know, you got to embrace some of those things that you that 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 you let go. Most of the time you let go of some interests. Maybe you wanted to play an, a musical instrument. Maybe you had a hobby at one time. You don't have it anymore because of the porn. So now you can do the hobby again. And one of the things I find whenever I work <laughs> with ex porn addicts, and sometimes they get stuck in conversation and they, uh, they think they're not creative. And then they say they don't have time. And I'm going to tell you something. Those are two, those are two statements I will never, ever tolerate from a porn act or ex-porn act. Never, ever, 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 ever take or tolerate. Never, ever, ever, ever. I won't. <laughs> no way. Ever. Because I know. I know these porn addicts are spending two hours a day, four hours a day, all weekend watching porn. And, you know, you know what they do. Watch porn and, you know, that other, you know, disgusting stuff. Yeah. And I know they do that all weekend. And sometimes they actually keep counting. They get, they have double digit numbers that they share about. I don't know. I think they're pontificating about it. So if they got time for all that, they always have time. I mean, because that's the life of a porn addict. Wasted time. Wasted time. Looking for the next best video. Looking for the next best scene. Oh, I'm just going to look at this one last video. I mean, that's the life of a porn addict. So, and then all of a sudden that becomes 20. And then all of a sudden that becomes the whole weekend. And then, you know, you look at five years and that's a whole lot of time. So when they want to tell me that they don't have an hour a day to work on themselves, I say BS. No way. You do. And I'm telling you, don't you ever allow yourself to tell yourself you don't. It's just real simple. You don't want to. It. It's okay. That's the truth. I'm okay with it, but, you know, are you okay with it? You always have time, and you always can figure it out. Because porn actors are, you're creative. You're going to figure out once, once you got to the point where you're listening to my, my program, you you know how to hide stuff you know how to come up with file names man i can't even you know how to get into to wi-fi boxes you know how to hack computers you uh, it just goes on and so i'm not gonna make any more fun of it or you think i'm glamorizing it again don't ever tell me or tell anybody else that you don't have creativity because the mere fact that you you were engaged in porn, you got time. And you got creativity. So I, that's it for now, guys. Uh, it's a journey, man. And you got to do those things one day at a time. You didn't get here overnight. So, I mean... You're not going to change overnight. I mean, it's, 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 it's just, just embrace the journey. Embrace that there's parts of this journey that are just going to suck. It's okay. You know, and, and I don't mean to be harsh on you, but I'm just going to be frank. I am going to be as frank as possible. You know, my daddy told me about, I don't know, 50 plus years ago, Joey, there's nothing free. There's nothing free. Um, and I've learned to believe that. He said, you know, either you're going to pay for it down the road. 
So therefore, it's in the installment plan, and you're actually going to pay more for it. Or somebody actually had to work for it, and they paid the price. And since they paid the price, it ain't free. So there's nothing free. But he said, I'll default to the most, most of the time, what you think is free for you in your life <laughs> is really going to be something that you pay for on the installment plan. So I tell men all the time, you know that free porn you thought you were getting? You know, you, you thought you were getting free porn, didn't you? You thought that you could just turn your computer on and rack up about 20 tabs and see all these naked ladies doing all this stuff and it isn't going to cost you anything. Okay. I know that's what you thought. And I'm not even I'm not even going to get strong with you. I'm going to be real gentle with you and just simply say this is where you pay for the free porn. Recovery is where you pay for the porn that you thought was free. I'll see you guys next time. Love each and every one of you. And so until next time, remember to make every day your living masterpiece, man. You only go around this place one time. You might go around the moon three and, and all this and all that, but this journey called life, you only do this thing one time and you don't really have any time for any foolishness. So I know you wrapped up in a little bit of that, but you know, use the stuff that we talked about today and embrace the journey, embrace the tools, get tools, get more tools, get better. You know, this is a race. This is a marathon. This is a fight, you know, put it all together, embrace the struggle, embrace the suck, you know, pay for the free pawn, basically, pay for the free pawn, basically, okay, but you can do it, because you're worth it, and you matter, and you count, and it matters, it matters that you do something with your life a little bit more noble then watching porn and doing that nasty stuff that you're doing. Okay? So with that, God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you next time. This is Joseph F. Price, Joey P. Have a great day.